everybody. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming in, uh, checking me out, listening to what I have to say. Thank you for following. Thank you for sharing. I totally appreciate all of you guys for doing that. So as I had mentioned before, I will be on here quite a bit just to keep keep promoting, letting everybody know what's going on as far as what we really need are these these uh, hair lice kits for the school, for peanut banning school uh, right now so the students don't have to worry about uh, these kind of concerns for them um, going to school. Not only that it's kind of hard for them to do their studies and then to be a very uncomfortable situation for them, but also uh, to help the families out because they can't afford for these treatments. They don't have the money for it. They don't have insurance. And they're barely getting by just to get the basic necessities. So we're here to start out with the Operation Hope, which of course means helping our pilots excel. Uh, this is one step toward that and uh, meeting that goal. So uh, I appreciate um, everybody who's been listening to what we have, interacting with us. So please support our webpage, support all our social medias. If you appreciate what you're listening and hearing, please put hashtag ANW. That's Adam Nancy William, which is A Needy Wilmington. So that way we know that you are following, you like what we're doing and uh, what we're all about. Even if you don't like what we're doing and you have something to say, we welcome that as well. Just uh, go to our YouTube uh, put a thumbs down and put the reason why. Hi, Todd. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. So I'm making this really short this morning on Friday uh, just to keep pushing and letting everybody know what's going on. On the webpage, it's been updated. Information has been updated. The GoFundMe has been updated. PayPal has been updated. Uh, so let everybody know if they want to make a monetary donation. You can go ahead and uh, do that on through GoFundMe or uh, PayPal. If you want to do something completely different, just put it in an envelope. Give me a quick second. And we'll do this real quick. Just put it in an envelope. Mark it for Operation Hope. Uh, leave it at uh, Maya Restaurant. They're one of our first sponsors. Um, allowing us to have items dropped off off our list. Please go ahead and follow the list carefully. If you have any questions or concerns before you drop the item off, please let me know. Uh, but pretty much everything that's on there is stuff they need for the uh, winter season. Even though we're March, everybody knows it's already predicting to be lasting longer than our normal winter. And there's still more rain coming. It's still cold at night. A lot of the students don't have the basic, you know, uh, sh uh, sweaters or undergarments, what have you. And it's a concern that has been brought to our attention. That's why the list is there. We're not just putting things out there for things that we don't need or the school or the students don't need. These are items that they need. So also the toiletry items, if you catch me in the first video, or you can go to the YouTube and you'll see all the information on there uh, and showing you the items that you can purchase at a very, very low cost. For a couple of dollars, you can go to 99 cent store and Dollar Tree and you can buy name brand stuff uh, for next to nothing, especially if you go in with somebody uh, and share because we understand everybody is um, pinching their pennies and it's hard but there's a lot of them that also want to help out so that's one way to help out so you can do that with love donation just put it in a bag drop it off at Maya and uh, we'll go ahead and give that to the students that need it if you want to help them out with the laundry cards you can go to the uh, coin op laundry mat right here on PCH uh, in the Northgate shopping center right next to Chase Bank and purchase a card we already gave two out. It goes to two families for the students. Believe it or not, didn't have, <coughs> excuse me, let me get something to drink. They didn't have a way to wash their clothes. So, a little bit H2O. So, um, message. So, to help them out uh, to wash their clothes, um, you know, they didn't have any means to do that. So, now they have a way to do that. So, we are taking steps to help out the students with concerns that we take for granted uh, that they don't have. And I mean, we visited these families uh, during Operation Pilot, we adopt a pilot. They are really struggling. So it's really, really important that we help them out the best way we can within our unity, within our community. So that's the reason why I'm, I'm keeping posting this up because as you know, anytime that you post something on Facebook, between the midday and the afternoon, whatever is there is already at the end of the Facebook. So you won't see unless you actually are, are following our page and you happen to look for it, then you'll see our first, uh, 
you know, newest video, newest post or what have you, and um, you get to follow. But we all get busy and it's hard to follow everything, so that's the reason why. So uh, that's why it's the best way to go ahead and follow either either social media or YouTube. If there's a video and you want to see if there's a new video, you can subscribe to it and then that way you'll know there's a new video posted and that way you can follow. So there you go. So I uh, hope that covers that information. So please follow, share, invite, donate. It's very, very important that we help out. These students have these concerns. They're not being sent home. <clears throat> they have this condition. They are to stay at home uh, in the past. Not anymore. <clears throat> I need some more water. Excuse me. I've been talking a little bit all day. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, in the past, they would sit there and send them home. The moment they would go to the school nurse and they say, sorry. Hi, good morning, Raina. How are you? I'll be with you in just a second. And so, um, they had concerns. I want to reach out to you. Okay. Right after the broadcast, I'll reach out to you. I promise. Okay, I will. <clears throat> okay, so in the past, they would be sent home. The minute they had some kind of uh, beginning stages of the um, of the outbreak of the lice, not anymore. Now they have to stay at school. So can you imagine students feeling uncomfortable and then they're getting sent home or letting know, I have this bed frame. Okay, okay. Uh, and they don't know what to do. So, and so when they are knowing what to do, they have no um, the medicine. The medicine is expensive. So we had a couple of people on here that gave suggestions, and they are going to donate it. So that's totally awesome. So I thought only the red lice treatment was the predominant kind of stuff that you can get uh, to use for the condition. And it was brought to my attention that like CVS has a brand. It's like a shampoo and it's less, it's, you know, not as strong as, because, you know, everybody's hair is conditioned differently. Some are more sensitive, whatever. So it's really cool. So CVS has it. So that's already been posted. So I'm going to look for more and I'm going to post it on there. So anything to do with as far as the lice treatment and stuff like that and combs. Hi, Angelica. Welcome. Good morning, Mija. Good morning. So <clears throat> those kind of things are welcome so I'll make sure I put it out there so that way uh, everybody can see what it is uh, and they can help out you just put it in the bag donate it into uh, the Maya restaurant box which I'm going to deliver today so today I'll have the box over there just put it in the bag make sure it's closed and tight and go ahead and put it in, in the box okay so make sure all the items are brand new they cost anywhere between from what I saw anywhere between 10 to 20 dollars so uh, please go ahead and do that, and that way um, we can help out the students. The social worker will give them out. They'll put them in a brown bag, so that way there's no embarrassing uh, concerns. They'll take it home, take care of it, and then the student can be happy being a kid and taking care of their school studies. So there you go. That's pretty much in a nutshell. So I'll make this real short and sweet. Other than that, I'll follow up if there's any changes or what have you. Uh, pretty much everything is pretty much the same except for me coming up here and just um, uh, letting everybody know again what we're all about and what we're doing and that um, please share and invite follow so that way you guys are up to date to everything that's been going on and what we're all about and what we're doing so right now Operation Hope has been launched <clears throat> and we're trying to get this going uh, we're trying to take care of this um, hair treatment very very important and so uh, the sooner we can get this to the social worker, like if I get something dropped off this weekend, then I get to take those things out to, to, to them next week. We already dropped the laundry cards off, so if you want to drop laundry cards, again, put an envelope, mark it, and that way we'll let you guys know um, that I received it, and then we'll pass it on to the uh, social worker who will give those out to uh, the students um, so they can go get their uh, clothes washed. Alrighty, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I have somebody right now, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for following Andy Wilmington, and you guys have a wonderful Friday. Enjoy your weekend. So, um, it's going to be a nice day. Alright, until next time, have a good day.